Hi, Vince Robert here, and I'm going to answer your question about the different shapes for our depressed slab family. So here's the one we had. I just recreated it quickly. Didn't want to have to go through it again because you know how to do this. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to insert this. These are all um, instance parameters, as you can see here. So what I'll do is I'll load this into my project. Got one in there already, so... I'm just going to go here in the architecture component and place my slab right there, my depression. So now, um, here, since this is an instance parameter, I can type in over here the different sizes. So here I can say this is going to be a one inch. See it changed to one inch, and then I can select it again and make this say five, and this one ten. And there you go. So I'm going to undo that. Now, if you want to get other shapes other than this, the best way to do that is do what we call an in-place family. So I'm going to go through this right quick for you. So I will go under uh, component. And I want to go model in place. Now, right here, we have the different family categories for in place, same as when in the family direct family environment, but this is in the project environment. So I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to select floors. And I'm going to say OK. And then you can name this. Well, I'll leave it as floor one and say OK. And then I want to go and get my void again, my void extrusion. And here for my extrusion in, I'm going to just say for now one inch. And I'll say apply. And then I'll go here and I'll draw. Let's just do a shape like this. And I'll finish it. Now what happens now, I'll cut this geometry. Uh-oh, sorry. Let's do this again. Let's try this again. Let's go cut. Or I can do this. Let's just go, sorry. No, I don't want to. Uh oh, I'm sorry. Let's do it. Try it one more time. My bad. So let's go. Component, model in place, there will be a floor. Let's see. Let's just make it a floor. Okay, so it'll act like a floor. And then I'll draw in my void extrusion. And let's just draw it from here to here and finish it. So there's my extrusion. Now what I want to do is we have to see now we got to adjust the depth here. So I'm going to just pull this down and move that to there and bring it up. So as you can see, the end and the start is adjusted right here. So it's negative one foot. So I'm going to push this up to right about here. Or let's just say minus one inch. Let's go into this view. Let's cut it. And there's our, our depression. Now, we've got this here now. So the thing about this, we can change this depth here. I'm sorry. We can change the depth. But what we do here, and we can change the size to any size we want. So I'm going to go into my level one. And there's that floor we just made that depression so here what we would do here we would edit in place and then select it and then we would edit the extrusion so from here we can draw anything we want so let's stretch this out here let's uh... I don't want to do that 
Let's pull this back so we do like an L shape here. I'll do another line up here. Let's close this off. Sorry. So once you get this in place, family, you can do whatever you want with it just by editing the profile. So I'm going to go here and um, let's do this. Even curves, so going around lines, you can do. So let's just say here and here. So on this end, let's do this. So let's make a round type thing here so let's go from here to there and then finish it go back into our 3d view so there you go so the best way to handle that is with an in place family and we can go down a little bit more so let's go down to three inches okay so there you go uh Vince, i hope this helps you out so that's how you would do a slab depression using an in-place family. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate all your support and I'll see you in the next video. I uh, want you to be safe out there and take care. Bye.